Jaunt. Here to discuss South Carolina Republican Congresswoman on the House Oversight Committee, Nancy Mace. Congresswoman Mace's district is right on the South Carolina coast. Uh, welcome back to the show. Thank you so much for having me this evening. So what was going through your mind as you're seeing this spy balloon field trip across the country and land right in your backyard? Well, as you mentioned, Kennedy, for eight days, the president of the United States allowed that balloon to traverse or travel across the entire United States. And he told the American people that we couldn't shoot it down. We had to wait till it got over the ocean. Meanwhile, a week later, three other devices were shot down over U.S. skies, right? And come to find out, it, it took data from our military sites and it went over and scanned some of those sites more than once or multiple times and transmitted that, that information back to China in real time. Uh, it is insanity to me that we allowed this to happen and make no mistake, the president allowed this to happen in the United States. So do you believe the Pentagon when they so confidently say that nothing was transmitted back to China? They're not really worried about what the communist Chinese government got from this spy, but we're hearing reports that they were actively uh, taking signals and uh, all sorts of signal intelligence and sending it back to Beijing. They didn't have to wait. They knew the thing was going to be shot down, so they equipped it with devices that could hoover up information, not necessarily images, and send it back. Well, that's what China does, right? They put their devices, they, they, they record information and data from their adversaries all around the world. And this isn't the first time there's been a balloon over uh, the skies of different countries not named China in, uh, in this on Earth. And so you, we've seen that over and over again. And they put these devices in all kinds of things that I can't even go into because I learned about those in a classified setting in a skiff. But this is what China does. And we allow them to go over nuclear sites, military sites before we before we shot it down. And yet a week later, the administration was was randomly shooting down other objects out of the skies. No problem. But this one, not so much. <laughs> Meanwhile, we found out you know, a week or two ago that the president's family was being paid off by communist China. Hmm. Uh, more on that on oversight in the next couple of weeks and months ahead. Well, I, I would like some answers because it doesn't make a lot of sense that the president likes to talk out both sides of his mouth. He likes to talk tough about China and we're not going to stand for it. Ah, heck. And then, you know, the other side is like, they're not going to eat our lunch. They're not a serious threat. So even if his family weren't compromised by God knows what sort of information uh, and access they paid millions and millions of dollars for. Even if this administration is just incompetent, isn't that worrisome enough? Right, no, for sure. But you got to wonder if there's some sort of conflict of interest. But we we allow this sort of thing to happen. And with the advances in technology that we are seeing, and with the advent of AI, we all should be worried. And so the American the American taxpayer should be demanding answers from the president of the United States. And I don't care if they have an R or a D by their name. Mm. We should not allow this to happen over over military sites and nuclear sites in this country. Yeah. Because whatever devices they're using, they're transmitting data back to communist China. That is what they do. They put it in all sorts of devices around the world. So in, we're worried that TikTok is harming children by accessing their private information. But what about the sensitive and top secret information, the signals that they were gathering and gleaning from our military most sensitive nuclear sites. military yeah. sites? I mean, that seems yeah. insane to me that they're angry about TikTok and want to ban it, but are wholly unserious about these spy apparatuses that are just, you know, they're flying around like balloons at a three-year-old's birthday party. Um, all right. Well, no, that's right. We got it backwards. I mean, the, the U.S. government doesn't have any constitutional right to ban apps in the app store, number one. Number two, TikTok said that they would uh, utilize Oracle with for American data so we don't have to be concerned about our data being transmitted back to China. And yet TikTok's all the rage right now and mm -hmm. trying to ban it. And yet this is happening in our own backyard literally and we know yes. it and we have that information and we do nothing yeah no if i were you and lisa murkowski i would be like so mad but it would be really fun to see you guys get together and talk about your various states because i think they're quite different but uh equally alluring congresswoman mace thank you so much thank you mm -hmm.